All right, hey, what's going on guys? My name is Richard. Welcome to Avatar the Mobile Game, uh, which I believe is technically called Avatar Legends. Now, obviously you guys know that I did a reaction series to Avatar The Last Airbender along with The Legend of Korra. A lot of you might be watching this video from that series. So uh, in that case, welcome, welcome back. Now there's been a lot of talk about Avatar having its own game. And I believe this is one of other games that are based on Avatar The Last Airbender. And you think that a franchise with such a big fan base like Avatar would have a triple A game by now. Um, this one seems to be the most like professional looking one. It's on the App Store. It's the first thing that comes up when you search Avatar. So today I thought I'd try out Avatar Legends, let you guys know my thoughts on it, whether it's worth playing. But yeah guys, also let me know if there are mobile games based off of popular series that you guys want me to play. I'm thinking about making this into a series where I review mobile games based off of other popular media. If you guys have any suggestions, I'd definitely love to hear them and maybe they'll make it into a future video. Okay, so I just loaded up the game here. It's a nice little loading screen, okay. It changes with how I tilt my phone, that's pretty cool. Okay, nice, we get a little cutscene here. Fire Nation! This is bad! Let's go, team! Are these the original voice actors? I don't think so. Oh no! Okay, so the voice the voice acting just stops, okay. No! Failure is not an option! Huh? <laughs> what the Okay, Toph doesn't even get anything for that. Mamushi. I thought that was Azula for a second. I was like, damn, Azula. I like that hairstyle, low key. <laughs> Colonel Monkey. It's the Avatar of Guards. Okay, so for the graphics, graphics, I'll commend them. They're not that bad for a mobile game, right? But I'm trying to see the gameplay. That's what I'm really here for. Tap skills to attack. Okay, so yeah. So you have your heroes. Okay, there's the turn meter on the left. Tap skills to attack. I won't give up. <laughs> damn. Let's use our fireball. Rekindled ambition, sorry. These, I love how these moves all have like super dramatic names. My attacks can knock down the enemy. All right, Toph, let's see what you got. Tectonic Rift. Oh shoot, that one's got splash damage. All right, now, last but not least, Katara, what you got? Damn, we almost wiped them out in the first turn. Ow, it's all good. Man, he gets two turns? Katara's ultimate? Is this is this like a team thing or is it just Katara? Let me see. I will not back off. Yo! This animation's kinda hype, I can't lie. That was pretty sick. Okay, I you know I came into this thinking I was gonna hate the games, but so far I'm I'm not hating it. Here's my boy Sokka. Tap on waypoints interact. So this is our map. Okay, I kind of like the chibi, like, um, avatars on the map. That's cute. What is happening right now? Oh, is this basically just going through the story of Avatar again? Like, is the storyline in here just the same thing as the series? That's good, nephew. Soon you will master it. No! I need to master it now! I will say that this game is... I mean, we're just, like, li reliving the show, essentially. Right? So it's nice to like have an interactive element to reliving the show, watching it again, basically. Okay, so now we're on the boat playing as Aang in the Avatar State, if you guys remember from the story. Let's see what new abilities the Avatar State gives us. Let's try this one. Leave them alone! Whew. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of rewards for each um, match, but I'm not sure what any of this does. Like I'm getting like, what is that, incense? I get what looks like literal air and water. Oh nice, we're putting a lot into Aang right here. I think we just put all of our scrolls into Aang. Log in for seven days to earn five star Iro. So I gotta keep logging in every single day this week, I guess, if I wanna get this, the big man himself. Oh, it's um, Shin Ming. Was she in? I feel like she looks familiar. Was she in the series? Cause so far there's been characters like uh, Azula lookalike that haven't been in the series, but are in the game. Okay, so it looks like this part of the story isn't actually in the original series. This is like a weird little side quest that they have us going on here. Drag on ally portraits to change their sequence in the combo. Find the same element back to back will cause the rank of the element to increase. <laughs> Damn, they all just beating on my man Sokka. Pause. So I think the main criticism, right, of this game that I assume people have is that even though it's not like it's for a mobile game, it's not bad. You know, the graphics look pretty good. Like the story is obviously like whatever. We know the story. It just feels a little disappointing. Like there's no voice acting. There's just like noises that the characters make. So far, I feel like there just could be more to the game. And I also don't know what else is in this game other than this cold questing mode. Is there PVP? Is there online? 
So everyone moves so slow in this game. Like, <laughs> why is it not instant travel? Oh. Damn, what is that thing? That thing is crazy. Oh, that was huge. My Aang is like level like 20 or something, so he's cracked. Hit Aang all you want. This man's like juiced up. Boom. Yeah, no, this travel time is seriously, this is egregious. Use, okay, here we go. Use heroes from across the avatar timelines together in activities. Upgrade your heroes at the training grounds. Ascend your heroes from element quests. Oh, nice, okay. Okay, so this is pretty cool, right? Like, if we're experiencing Kiyoshi's uh, timeline, if we're experiencing the timeline of, like, you know, other avatars, there's something to be explored, something that's new. You can really sort of dive into the side stories through this through this game, which could be interesting. One of the Air Nomad's most precious avatar relics. I'm just not gonna chase after her? She was, like, right there. She stole one of our relics! Standing in the door, like... Oh, we got Kiyoshi. Okay, nice. Now we're in Kiyoshi's timeline, and this is these are all quests related to her story. See, this is cool for me to explore, because I haven't seen, um, or I haven't read the Kiyoshi books. I don't know the story. So, like, for people like me who don't know all of the side stories, it, it's cool to be able to experience something new. So this guy's the Avatar? Well, I mean, he's obviously not the Avatar, because Kiyoshi exists. It's pathetic. Wait, so I'm playing as this weird fire girl. Who is this girl? Let's see what you got. Damn. All right, that was crazy. Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, that was weak, bro. Easy. Okay, I collected a bunch of things from winning, winning that battle. Ooh, we got some gifts from Iroh. You must never give in to despair. Allow yourself to slip down that road. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Thanks, Iroh. Zuko's giving us some, some sort of mask. So are there all these heroes that I can buy? I've only collected five out of 200, it says. I don't know if that's like, if that counts duplicates of the same character, if you can even get duplicates of the same character, or that means there's 200 characters in the game. That's pretty cool though. Okay, so I get to summon in this screen. Let's see who we, it, it, well, this is the gotcha part of the game, right? Let's see who we can get. Let's do a 10 times summon. We have 1.2K of these uh, little crystal things here. We might as well. Let's do 10 of these. Why not? Oh, nice, okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that mechanic. It relate. It like relates to the story. So we're searching the world through the through the world tree. I think it's called to find other characters and things. That's really cool. Okay, so this is a piece of equipment. I assume more equipment. High show. Path of conquest. Okay, no heroes. I just got a bunch of equipables. Whatever you want to call them. Let's do another ten. Let's see if we can get Toph. I don't know if it's too early to get Toph. I mean, I'm not, I'm not in the story part of it yet, where I where I meet Toph. But I will never whoa. We just got a five-star Katara. So I assume this is an upgraded version of my existing Katara. Or over time, would I have been able to um, evolve my Katara to this stage anyway? I don't know. It's a little unclear. Oh, nice. We got another hero, Tyro. Okay. Nice. We got Toph. Let's go. Yo, that was a huge summon. We got a five-star Katara and Toph and some random Earth guy. I don't really care about that guy. We can also do six summons in this event. I don't really know what this is, but let's use our tickets. We got a four-star Zuko, Invader Zuko, okay. Yo, Agni Kai Zuko, nice, four-star. Appa, yo, we got Appa! Okay, so he's a support character. We have like our main team and then we have our support gang. That's that's great. All right, but yeah, guys, I think we're gonna end the video there. Uh, this game has potential. It's pretty cool. I was hoping there would be variants of each character, like, you know, the Agni Kai Zuko, Invader Zuko, etc. And there was. Obviously, there's even better versions of the characters that I haven't received yet because I just started. I got a five-star Katara, though, which is really exciting. I can't wait to use her. Um, other than that, though, I think the, the main thing I have with this game, it, it doesn't fully satisfy me. For a franchise like Avatar, I want something where I can like, you know, move around. Like I want to be able to like play as the character and I want to be able to like do combos as Aang or Katara or whatever, or like something where there's like more skill involved, I think. So obviously for any RPG game, the story is a very important element. And part of why this game might suffer a little is because we kind of already know the story. The story isn't really exciting or new or interesting to us. It's kind of just like the, the original series story, but then just like kind of cropped down. I kind of wish the game did more exploration where there was like new stories and new adventures that they go on. And um, maybe there are. For now, it does look like the main um, storyline is just the original Avatar storyline. And yeah, at the end of the day, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, where in, in like two months, for example, do I still see myself playing this game? I don't know. Like, I feel like this game is kind of just like, if I pick it up for a few days and it's kind of cool. I collect some characters and then I just, I just put it down. I'd probably rate this game a 
I don't know, like a six. The, the graphics are good, um, and obviously the character collecting is fun, but I think the, the fundamental structure of the game is, is a little boring. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this game down in the comments. Have you guys played it for yourselves? Does it get more interesting later into the game where you can unlock maybe other game modes or competitive or whatever? But that's gonna do it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on notifications. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.